learning more about the judge who oversaw Evan Ebel's sentencing. 7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson tracking what appears to be a clerical error. And Molly, the judge or clerk may have simply overlooked paperwork that specified how Ebel should serve his time. Yeah, these Department of Corrections documents show that Evan Ebel was sentenced to four years out of Fremont County for assaulting a correctional officer. Now, what they don't say is whether they're supposed to be concurrent sentencing, meaning at the same time, or consecutive, meaning one after another. According to these DOC documents, the Fremont County Court never specified how Evan Ebel should serve his time, concurrently or consecutively, something fact, former something Douglas County Judge Jim Miller says is odd. Uh, there should be some language in here uh, indicating that this should be con served consecutively. Look here. The document goes on to say because the information was left out, the DOC had to follow case law and calculated the sentence to be served concurrently. So what does this mean? Evan Ebel may have gotten out four years sooner than he was supposed to. There's no good explanation, and, I, and I'd certainly be, uh, Judge Thorson has a great reputation. Judge Thorson oversaw this case. We called him, but he didn't answer. So we checked into his background. According to a 2008 judicial performance survey, Thorson received high marks shown here in green, scoring above average in everything from case management and knowledge of law to overall communications, demeanor, and diligence. So that still leaves the question, how could this happen? Maybe we need to sit down, these groups are going to be saying, and look at our, our system. And there is one piece of the puzzle that is missing court documents, court transcripts that may explain why the sentencing is different than the plea agreement, but we can't get a hold of those until Monday. Reporting live, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.